Hello Valuables, welcome back to my channel. It is me, your host, Mary Johnson Eme. Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode. And if today is your first time of seeing my amazing Valuable face, thank you so much. You're most welcome. You please join the family, consider subscribing, like, share, and be part of this home. And to you, my subscribers, thank you all so much for being a great supportive system. Thank you for growing with me. Just like you can see from the title, the reason why most people that are in diaspora african people in diaspora they work so hard but they have nothing to show for it now this video was inspired because you know some people were having misunderstanding and uh, someone was telling him mm, you you said you are in uh Alabeke. you said you are outside the country what do you have to show for it we we are in africa and we travel all the time to the village and you that is in abroad you, you only travel maybe once in two years what do you have to show that you are in abroad because i know there are some people that are having this um, mindset when i put it that way you are in obodo Yibo, you are in the diaspora you are in abroad you are in london in usa in germany australia canada there are so many reasons why it seems as if people are living in abroad or they're in diaspora yet they have nothing to show for maybe they don't have mansions maybe they don't have big businesses back home there is just a whole lot going and i think um i've come to a level where i can say something because i've i've been in this country for three years and i've seen that not all that glitters are gold i'm saying it smiling but yeah not all that glitters are gold people actually it feels that oh because you are in abroad then if they tell you you should bring heaven and earth you should just bring it without even questioning without even thinking twice without wasting time but no it is not like that you know so many people that are in diaspora like me i'm in germany people that are in london people that are in canada people that are in different place outside their hometown they toil day and night just to make sure that they earn a living yes I say they toil day and night. It is not that easy. Some people come out and they, you know, try to look strong. But believe you me, they go through a whole lot of things that are capable to pull them down. Do you know that some people have to combine different works just to make sure they survive? Like, there is one thing that actually, you know, break people down the most. It is the cost of, you know, the place where you are living cost of housing housing in abroad is very very expensive can you believe some people they actually earn very well and at the end of everything housing takes half of their salary and remember you still have other things to pay for example you pay for your house and as you're paying for your house like in this country you pay for your health insurance and for your health insurance you will not say oh because i don't go to the hospital every month so i don't need to pay so this one you you have to you are you are mandatory to pay every month in fact you know the funniest part of it is before you even receive your money in your account the money has already been deducted before you receive your money in your account all of those we call it store yeah we have different store you have to pay tax whatever you work for you pay tax you have to pay your physician regardless your health insurance there are other if is that you have a car you have to pay for your car insurance and you have to pay for insurance for owning a radio i heard about this when i came to this country and i'm like what so i also said yes because whether you have a radio you have to pay for the insurance and some people don't have radio they say you have to pay it's a law you have to pay for the insurance and the most shocking aspect of it is that even students they are not exempted like they have to pay it you have to pay their insurance because that is for sure you have to pay your insurance so like just like i say and now feeding food is expensive remember i made um an unboxing video and i made an unboxing video some time ago about uh the food stuffs that one of my auntie helped me you know to bring from africa and remember that those are just some small things because there are other things that i need to purchase you have to go and get other things rice maybe grease or semo or you know so many things that you have to purchase they are expensive i'm here to say that someone that's living in diaspora that's living outside his or her country maybe because the person has not built mansion back home then it means that the person is lazy or the person has not been you know doing anything or the person has nothing to show for it people over here are working 
so hard. They, they, they work day and night. They toil. They work and they come back home. They are very tired. They come back home, you know, they don't even have time for themselves. They don't have time because all they think about in this country, all you just do is wake up in the morning, go to work, after work, come back home, rest, wake up in the morning, go to work. Although it sounds funny, but this is it. This is the absolute truth. And I know some of you watching me that are also living in diaspora, you can attest to what I'm saying, that people work hard in abroad. People work so hard. Germany, USA, Canada, wherever people are working so hard, they are not lazy at all. So it hurts when people say, Oh, no, no, people that are outside the outside their hometown, they are lazy. That's why they have no, that's why they have nothing to show for it. We work and work, people work and work, yet the money flies, it flies like this. It flies. That's what some people actually want to get some other um, mini jobs, some other small jobs. But remember, all of these small jobs is taking away their time of sleep, it's taking away their time for their family, it's taking away their time to rest, and they just have to do it because yes, there are also some needs back home. What would happen when some when family you know call you and tell you there's a need and that will you tell them that oh all my money has gone just like that you would also want to assist the family and help the family so that's what some people most people they find it difficult to save although yes i'm someone that always say try as much as you can to save but at the same time saving is not easy because you know that there are so many things that you have for you to share there are so many things that you have for you to pay so many things now for example let us say you know someone is earning let me say 1600 because some people are earning one six one seven you are earning one six and then maybe your house rent is 700 750 so 700 750 from uh the 1600 what do you have left you have 850 now remember this 750 of a house it depends it is just for someone that wants to live a small apartment but if you have a family then the house rent increases like these days in germany it is difficult for you to get a house some people pay up to 900 for house some people pay up to 1000 for house yes imagine if you're any one six or one seven that you pay 1000 or 800 or 900 what would be left of you nothing maybe you are just left with 700 remember maybe if it's that your uh you are owing the bank you have to pay or remember if it's maybe you have to feed you have to feed from that 600 if you are a woman you have to make your hair if even if you're not a woman and you're a man you have to go and buy some clothes you need some shoes you need you know your cream you need your powder you need this and you need that by the time you know 600 is finished by the time you know 600 is finished if you have a child and you are paying for your child's support by the time you even see the 1006 or 17 is not even enough there are families back home that are looking up to you you have to support some things can just happen imprompt some things can just happen and come in the middle you know that's why it seems as if for some people that you know it seems like people over here they are not working hard i want to say they are working hard but it's just that unfortunately so many things are choking yes so many things are choking those monies people they are working and there are some youtubers also that work and they actually come here to do youtubing because they actually want to get some extra cash because they know that if they just want to depend only on what they are getting it wouldn't be enough so i would love to say people outside the country they are working so hard like maybe if you are in your hometown you just do one or two things and then you go but this place there is a whole lot now for example let's assume you want to travel traveling like this time around the ticket is very very expensive for you to travel from germany to to nigeria sometimes you will get your ticket for one thousand if you're not lucky you get one thousand something and going imagine you have a family you have children maybe all together you are five you have four children and you and your husband that's six that's six that means you have to pay one 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 thousand on each person imagine what it is it is six thousand and this six thousand for some people six thousand is nothing but also for some people six thousand takes forever for them to save it so many people are just going through a whole lot they are going through this and that and even those that have children remember your child you have to also purchase one or two things for 
your children because you are paying for insurance you are paying for your car insurance for your health insurance and for this that 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 that, that. doesn't mean that your children will look that hard doesn't mean that you abandon them and mind you even as children grow their needs also grow maybe before you can just go in and then you buy any shoe you want but now they will tell you mommy i need nike mommy i need uh, uh this and that mommy i need iphone this they actually have their desire they actually have you know the taste of the things they would want to wear or the things they would want to use so for me i actually applaud people that are living outside because it is not easy really it is not easy i really really respect any person any man any family that are in abroad and then they are trying to you know better their lives they are fighting so hard to make sure that you know they stand they give their children the best of life they make sure that they you know do all they can do so that they wouldn't be put to shame i respect them so much it doesn't mean that they don't want to invest in africa no they really want to invest but it is just that situations around are choking them just like i said things around are not making it easy for them and that's why like i say people they work two times they work many times like i know there are some countries some people work like three times they go here 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 just to gather some money just to get this together because the expenses are just too much so for me this is the reason why most african people most people living in diaspora are not having this big gigantic investment or building houses here and there in africa it's it's good for us to build houses buy land do this and do that but at the same time they require resources so i don't know what do you think if you're watching me and you're living in diaspora you're living outside your hometown i believe what i'm saying is right these are the reasons why and if there are other reasons that i didn't mention you can also mention them so for me it's it pains me when people are saying ah those are living in, in abroad don't mind them what do they have to show for it they are just lazy they are lazy about i don't know it's i don't know it, i feel it because i'm seeing what people are going through i have a husband that works like i'm seeing how it is when i was in africa there are some things that i didn't understand like there are some things that in fact even if you explain and explain and explain i wouldn't get it but now i understand it so this is exactly where i would rest my case so just you know comment in the comment section what do you think about this word that people in diaspora they are lazy or they are not working what do you think if you're in diaspora can you share your experience with us in the comment section i would really love to read and also thank you all so much for watching to the end of this video and if you have not subscribed please subscribe like share make this home your home and yeah till i come your way next time i remain your humble host mary johnson Nemi. remember you are the head and not the tail